Comedian, director, actor and all-round talent Joe Damon is making big moves in his career. He recently performed for the Comedy Store docuseries in Los Angeles alongside some of the biggest names in comedy. Comedian Joe Damon of Te Ateawa is with us now from LA. Tēnā koe hoa, thanks for joining us from what I suspect is a sunny town. Yeah, kia ora mātou nil. Thank you for having me, brother. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, we're just out here in LA at the moment, so um, no, it's crazy being here, man. Well, it sounds like you've been on the go since arriving there. Where have you been performing and how's the audience responded to your comedy? Yeah, so I, I, f I first came over here initially about a month ago now, um, touring with a dude from out here named Noel Miller. So we did his, I did the West Coast leg of his tour. So we did about eight dates, um, just a bunch of theatres along the West Coast of the US, um, like Sacramento, um, San Diego, Los Angeles, uh, got to do Vegas. Um, wow. I'll tell you what Vegas has been, but Vegas for free is even meaner. So that was, um, <laughs> now the comedy so store it's, opened. It's been amazing, it opened way back in the early seventies and has hosted some of the biggest names in comedy, including Whoopi Goldberg, Robin Williams, and Jay Leno. How important is it for you to showcase talent there? Oh, it's. Um... You know, I think the, the, that name in itself is something that, as a comedian, um, you know, we only dream of ever getting a chance to to play there. And especially that main room, that main room is, is such a special um, stage to, to be on. I, I asked uh, one of the managers of the store, I asked him if anybody from New Zealand had ever performed on it. And he said, from his memory, only one other person from back home had, being wow. Reese Darby. And so I spoke to them about like how much it really means to kind of be there, especially with alongside someone like Reese. Um, and it's just an amazing, uh, an amazing place, man. Like, this is how crazy it is. I did my show there, and Ashton Kutcher was in the audience. Wow. Did he? Uh, did he? Did he, he ask crazy. about me or anything? Anything? Yeah, he actually he actually did. He's like, yeah, and how's my uncle Neil? I was like, oh, I still do. Monkey puppet, sure. <laughs> so, who are the, some of the people you've met since arriving in LA? What's the comedy environment been like for you? I've been really lucky. I've got really good support over here. So, like my management team are over here, and I've got really good mentors. So, I'll, I'll tell you a crazy story, Neil. Um, I've got a mentor out here by the name of. Um, Bruce Hills, and he's um, a very big deal in stand-up comedy. But he's a he's a humble as dude, and he's from he, he's Canadian, but he was also raised in New Zealand, raised in Palmerston. Oh wow! So, and he's a very very influential um, figure in global comedy. And so we caught up for a, a drink last night, and we were just catching up. And he was you know wanting to check in and see how I was going and stuff. And then he um, he was on his phone and he gets a message and he goes, um, "Hey, uh, I would love to take you and to meet a friend of mine. I, he would really love to meet you." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, I, I would love to. Who is it?" And he goes, "Dave Chappelle." And so uh, yeah, I, Bruce got Bruce took me along and got to meet Dave and you know we talked about New Zealand. I got to watch him do uh, a couple of hours at the uh, the famous improv which is another famous comedy club out mm. here in hollywood and yeah man it's just been uh, it's been very surreal stuff like that all the way through and it's just an honor to be here you know not only as a comedian but as a maori as a fijian um especially being one of the first to step into a lot of these spaces mm. i can't wait to you know be part of the journey of whoever the next ones are through because um they'll you know they're they're so open to us and they they love what I'm, you know, what I'm talking about when it comes to not only being from New Zealand but being Maori, being Indigenous, and I just can't wait to kind of be the start of this wave that comes through. So yeah, man, it's been crazy. And me and Dave are boys now, so that, but, you that's know, right. It's, it's that's whatever. right. So what else did you speak to him about? Because you know, for some comedians like yourself, you're still funny in, in real life. Is, is he as uh, amusing in real life as he is on the stage? He's he is hilarious, but not in. He, it's it's really weird. Like it was, he he's he's still hilarious, but it's kind of in a different way to I guess what you see on see on stage. Mm. The the vibes he was kind of giving me was like your funny like you know uncle who you know he's like he's like smacking people when he's talking and mm. and like 
you know, they louding like laughing really loud and you know, he's like putting music on and playing it and um He's absolutely like the center, you know, of attention in yeah. the life of the the party, and it, yeah, it, it was just it was just surreal to kind of be there and witness it. And oh, it's amazing! The kind of people that were that were there taking it all in was crazy as well. Like, mm. I don't know if you remember the rapper Ti, but he yeah. was there as well. That was crazy. So yeah, man, that was it was kind of a ridiculous oh, it's, uh, it's situation cool, I got myself in. Look, look, <laughs> extremely happy for you and where your journey's taken to you now, but we'll be speaking to you more again about what you're doing in the near future. Comedian, actor, director, Joe Damon, thank you so much for joining us today and continue to do us proud. Tēnā koe e hoa. Kishini matu.